All right. Let's uh, let's talk about chin again. And again, these are concepts that work for any offense that we run. It doesn't really matter. Um, but we're just talking about um, concepts of basketball in general. And this particular example where we're going to run a chin, we're going to be in our chin offense against a 1-3-1 one, one defense. Okay, we're just trying to, again, like we did before, we're splitting the gaps, right? So we're here. We can set up in our traditional way because we're in these gaps. In a zone, remember, we're trying to get the zone to collapse on us, right? We, we don't have a lot of these internal penetrations and backdoors that we had traditionally in our in our man-to-man chin. But let's look at how this starts typically, right? Typically what happens is we're out here and the whole goal of a 1-3-1 zone is to funnel you over here, funnel the guard over here, and then set a trap and put pressure on them there, right? So just know that's what's happening. They're hoping that you're going to make a you're going to make a lob pass over here, and eight's going to come up and intercept it. That's what they're hoping for. They get you way over here, and then you make a lazy pass across here, and they get this pick off at first steal. That's the crux of what's going on with the one three one. The best way to stop a one three one is to just um, get some easy layups, and then they'll come out of that zone and probably go to a man to man. All right. So knowing that that's the case. Just like on the 2-3 zone, you start to dribble over here. What can you do here on the power side? And keep the ball on the power side now. You could dump the ball into five. Oops, that kind of came with you. Dump the ball into five. It's going to cause the defense, as you start to drive over here, he's coming and they're coming for this trap. Before the trap gets there, you're going to dump the ball into five. Bounce pass is probably the best one there, right? Well, what can five do? Five can turn immediately and start looking for him cutting to the basket him cutting or her cutting to the basket or just coming and shooting a layup there. You have basically a three-on-one situation going on here. Again, remember this this middle person is looking for the steal up there. So if you make this rotation quickly, this pass quickly, the defense can't recover. So let's go back over here. Here you come in on the one three one. They're looking for this trap over here. He's cutting off this lane. And before that hat before they can get the trap, you dump the ball here and he comes right away and he comes right away. Okay? Just concepts of basketball, right? Nothing, no set play. We could get into a situation though where we want to run a we want to run a screen for one on this on this particular setup. So here we are here. The pass comes into five, and he's gonna recover. Gonna he has to help a little bit. Three's gonna set a screen. So as soon as one makes that pass, one's coming off the screen, and five's looking for this pass here and opening up to the basket, four's coming down. So here we have a three on one situation. Basic concepts, right? But if we get hung out here, the worst thing you could do against, just again, just concepts, the worst thing you could do against this zone is have the ball, dribble over here, let them trap you, and give up your dribble. Stop dribbling there. The worst thing you could do. There. So, as you see this setting up here, guards, you see it happening, you're dribbling down, you see him start to funnel you, he starts to funnel you, bring you there, boom, make the pass. Make the pass in here. And you can we can pre-establish that, hey, we're just gonna run this bruiser back door off the one three, where he comes off here, sets the screen, comes off here. But really, it's just as easy to make this pass into here and come right back door right away. It's like our four high. Very similar to our four high plays, right? Okay. The other thing you can do here, they're putting a lot of pressure on you and you're uncomfortable with the pressure, is you can do a dribble handoff. You can just dribble over here. They're starting to put the pressure here. They're on this side. He's stepping up. You come over here for a dribble handoff and the handoff happens on this side. So what's he gonna do? He's gonna come with you. This person is gonna start stepping up a little bit. He's gonna step up a little bit. The handoff comes now, happens here. So you can come off this handoff and come right to the basket and get them to collapse. You could also come off this handoff immediately and make this pass to five. And now you have one coming back door, three on one situation. All right? Because this one three one zone, let's just go back to our to our setup. Where's five is here? We have our two guards out here. One three one setup. Let's just look at the one three one. It's very vulnerable 
at the back end here, right? And sometimes these guys will play a little bit lower like that, but they're still vulnerable. They're still very vulnerable here. So if they're playing low like that, as soon as you come to this side, usually what happens is this is their interceptor, right? They're not going to send him out here to trap. They're going to send this guy here to trap, to trap on this side. So even if you have that, you have him stepping to a side, you still have this pass available completely, right? You also have, you could also do this. If they're if they're setting the trap up here, you could come and set, get in concept, set a screen there, and come off the screen on this side. He opens up, five slides down, four could start making this back cut. You at least have a three-on-one situation here. You see that this whole area here is vulnerable. They're just trying to get you to make mistakes up here and make you make long passes up here. Again, just concepts of basketball.